A moment of silence to honor the former mayor at the New York Stock Exchange Tuesday. Dinkins will be remembered as a friend of South Africa who hosted the most famous former political prisoner in New York soon after Madiba's release over 30 years ago, in the year after his own historic win of the mayoral chain in 1989. They wanted him in Atlanta. And this was him speaking about Madiba during an SABC interview in 2015. Who among us could be as, not necessarily forgiving, but let's say understanding? as Nelson Mandela. And I point out often, as you doubtless know, that his captors were invited to his uh, inauguration. And uh, I, I'll, I'll never forget, I'm standing next to Colin Powell and they had a flyover of planes and Colin Powell said, look, and they're all his. <laughs> In 1989, he defeated three-term incumbent Mayor Ed Koch and the man who would eventually replace him four years later, Rudy Giuliani, during a period when the city was enveloped in rising crime and racial turmoil that damaged his re-election prospects. But he remained a visible force in the city, an avid supporter of tennis at the US Open, and here speaking after Hillary Clinton's primary win in the Big Apple in 2016. I'm the 106th mayor of the city of New York. I'm a proud supporter of Hillary Clinton. As a matter of fact, today is the fourth time I voted for her. I am delighted to be here. I don't know when I've seen this room so full of wonderful people. Good Democrats all. Current Mayor Bill de Blasio ordered flags lowered in the city, tweeting that they were mourning a truly great man who set the city on a better path. Former U.S. Ambassador to South Africa Patrick Gaspard called Dinkins grace itself and someone who taught him that you don't need to be loud to be strong. Post City Hall, Dinkins taught at Columbia University School of International and Public Affairs and continued making appearances at social events. He famously vowed during his inaugural address that he would be a mayor of all the people of New York, declaring at the time that they were all foot soldiers on the march to freedom. David Dinkins was 93. Sherman Bryce, SABC News, New York.